welcome to my channel. This is Playlist and Travels. And if you are new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. If you're coming from one of the other participating channels, hi, I do a lot of Disney content. And today I'm going totally 90s because it is a 90s swap. So I am rocking my side ponytail because hey, <laughs> this is what I remember wearing in the 90s. Um, I'm also wearing a no, this is 80s, obviously, but I'm wearing the only tie-dye t-shirt that I have in my current wardrobe because tie-dye was super in, in the 90s. And I actually gathered a bunch of different 90s-esque type of things to show you as well, just to bring it back to the decade. I was very excited to celebrate this decade. I just got these cool um, headband ears from the Disney parks, from Disneyland. This is the new Mulan ears that were released a couple weeks ago and they're gorgeous. I will show another like look at this in my Disneyland haul to come, but I thought it'd be perfect to show in this video because this is very 90s. This is all about the 90s. 1998 was the year that Mulan was released and I love this film. Um, I also gathered for the occasion a couple of my daughter's tie-dye t-shirts because luckily tie-dye has definitely made its way back as a trend. So my daughter has a number of tie-dye looks that is definitely in right now. Um, my mom sent this to me like a year ago and I happen to have it in my daughter's wardrobe. So I will show you. This is a t-shirt that I wore in the 90s when I was in kindergarten and it says my name. And you guys can see that it is in glitter, in gold glitter font, because glitter t-shirts, like using this glitter glue, was definitely in the 90s. <laughs> definitely in, in the 90s. And it has my name. Um, I made this when I was little. Obviously it's very nice and neat, so maybe I didn't actually make this myself. Maybe somebody actually did this for me. I don't remember. I was obviously in kindergarten because it says GK to one. I used to go to aftercare and that's what they called it, um, G girls kindergarten through first grade was the group that we made these t-shirts for, but hey, at one point this fit me. So cool. And this is definitely very 90s, so I wanted to bring that back for this video. Figment was definitely in in the 90s, so I have my little Figment plush. I recently showed my VHS collection. That's very 90s, I guess. Um, but I also just grabbed a bunch of movies from the 90s. Not Quite Human 2, Hook, love that movie. Uh, While You Were Sleeping, love this film. Perfect Harmony was a 90s Disney Channel original movie. I happen to love this movie. Um, it was about a black boy and a white guy, a white boy who were friends, and that was so unheard of back in the 1950s. Yeah, set in the South Carolina during the 1950s. So love that movie. If you get a chance to see it, they should bring that to Disney Plus. I don't believe it's there just yet. Um, Edward Scissorhands came out in 1990 itself, and I love this film. I'm a big Johnny Depp fan, especially in this movie, and Winona Ryder was great. So I just love looking at that. Kindergarten Cop, another movie that came out in 1990 is, itself. A young Jessica Alba it, uh, has a small role in this movie as well, by the way. Um, no, it's not a Duma. <laughs> so, so those are some of my throwback 90s movies and whatnot. I have Hocus Pocus. This was sent to me by Shasta. Thanks again, Shasta Girl, for sending that to me. I love that. Hello Again was another 90s film. I love this movie. Um, when did this come out? I want to say this was definitely the 90s. I don't remember when, but it was Shelley Long was in it and it's about a woman that dies and comes back to life. Love her. Um, and then Titanic. Titanic is another classic. So it's funny because on my preference list, we had a questionnaire that we had to fill out that gave each other like our preferences and then we use that to go shopping for our person. The person that I got was really into Titanic and Edward Scissorhands. And I looked all over for those movies because I was going to send her a copy. Couldn't find them. And I was like, should I just send her mine? But I really love these movies. So to my person, I'm so sorry that I do own the movies that you said that you loved, but I like, I just couldn't, I couldn't let go of them. They were just like, they're so much part of my collection. But at any rate, that's my 90s like collection down memory lane. I also have Harry Potter, Prisoner of Azkaban. This is book three. You can see it's very well loved. This is actually my favorite Harry Potter book before the um, the last one came out. That's actually my favorite now. But um, when I was younger, this was definitely my favorite. Um, I did not read these in the 90s, however. This was published in 1999, um, but I didn't actually read, start reading Harry Potter, the first book, until I was in college. A friend of mine introduced me to it, and then I got really hooked really fast. But because this came out in the 90s, I'm showing it to you guys as well. Okay, so that is my blast down memory lane. You can see I have some of my favorite shows behind me. I have my Aladdin tapestry rug. I've got Die Hard, that came out in the 90s. Anne of Avonlea, um, that was my favorite, or this was Tales from Avonlea. 
the TV series, and they also had Anne of Avonlea in the movie. Um, I was really into the whole Avonlea series, and that was big in the 90s in the Disney Channel, so we have that as well. Roswell, I was a big fan of. We've got Felicity and Buffy. So those are all like my 90s jams, and I brought them back out for this video. So let's get into the box. I was also really into Home Alone, which I have this little game that I got my husband for Christmas because he's a big Home Alone person. He can quote the entire movie, so crazy. I made my family disappear. So I have this box and it was sent to me um, from someone in Arizona. I recognize the address, however, I believe I sent her a card during our Christmas card exchange. It took me a while to remember. I was like, I'm trying to put a finger on it and I think if I'm not mistaken, but I think this might be the person that organized the swap. So I'm gonna open it up and just double check. Okay, I just let it open, and the very first thing that's on top is something that I sent to my person, which ensures me that yes, this is for the 90s swap, so I have the right box. So just to give you guys a quick parameters of this, this was organized by Twinkling Beauty. Susan over at Twinkling Beauty, thanks again for including me in this swap and for organizing this. I love the 90s, so I was very happy to be part of this. Um, there were a number of channels that are involved, I forget how many, but I will have the links in the description below. And basically our criteria for this was just, we had a $50 spend budget and just include anything from the 90s that you could think of because it's really hard to find some of the stuff. So there wasn't any particular, like, these are the criteria to, to find. She just basically said, spend $50 and that was it. So I'm gonna go into this. I think that my person, however, is Susan because I think that's her address. Oh my God! Okay, so the very first thing I'm seeing on top, this is so cool. She has a number of items and then she has wrapping paper, tissue paper. So the very first thing I saw when I opened the box was these Lisa Frank stickers. And I'm so excited you include these, included these because I sent these to my person as well and I only grabbed one. My store only had one, these are from the Dollar Tree. And I remember being like, darn it, after like a month later. I was like, I should have gotten another one because I think there were two on the shelf at the time. And I was like, I just did not get me a second one. And I love these stickers, but now I have it. And look, it's like a blast from memory lane. Look at all the nice vivid colors. This is definitely something that you saw a lot back in the 90s. I was very much into these Lisa Frank stickers. In fact, I had sticker books where I just like had autograph books and little books that I put stickers all over the place. I still had fuzzy stickers from Lisa Frank. Those were my favorite. My mom has those books at home, so unfortunately I can't show you guys for this video, but just know that I was really into stickers and Lisa Frank was all up there. So thank you for sending me this. Um, to whoever my person is, because I don't know just yet. I have to get to the bottom, probably. The next thing that I'm seeing is bubble tape! I was so sad after I set my box. I was like, I should have looked harder for bubble tape because I loved bubble tape in the 90s. And I got it. This is so cool. This is Awesome Original Six Feet of Fun Bubblegum. Hubba Bubba is the brand from Wrigley's. I was a big fan of bubble tape. It just rolls and rolls and rolls, and it's like nice bubblegum. Let's go ahead and actually, let's crack this baby open and start chewing it for the video because that's gonna take us down memory lane. Oh my gosh, look at that. And it looks just like a bubble and you just roll it out. I forget how you're supposed to like dispense this, but I'm just gonna take a small piece. Mm-hmm. That tastes like bubble tape, oh yeah. So that is the official flavor of Awesome Original Bubble Gum. <laughs> and the last candy item, oh my goodness. I swear you can't take me anywhere, I just like dropped the box. But the last thing that I was seeing on top was Fun Dip. This is such an original snack from the 90s. I definitely remember seeing this all over the place. Um, the brand says Like Made. I've got Raz Apple Magic Dip, Cherry Yum Diddly Dip, and Grape Yumptious Dip, oh my goodness. And it says two like a sticks and three flavors. So I guess it comes with dip and the stick and you're supposed to stick it in and eat it. This is so sweet and ridiculous, but this is definitely something that I did enjoy in the 90s. So I might have to wait till my daughter is here and let her try this for the first time and hopefully she doesn't get hooked and make me want to get this again. But I was definitely into Fun Dip when I was little, so thank you for including that in my box. It's already had that 90s vibe. Okay, so there's a lot of purple tissue paper and I am such a purple fan, so this is definitely my favorite color and thank you for including it. And yes, there's a note here. Hi, Christina, thank you so much for doing the 90s swap. I really hope you like everything. Susan from Twinkling Beauty. So I was right, this is her address. So, these feel like, these feel like ears. Maybe I should have waited to the end to do this, but then I can wear these. Oh my gosh! Did you make these? Whoa! Oh my gosh, it's like Animaniacs. This is so cool. Where'd you even get this fabric from? So these are definitely 
It's a lot harder to film chewing bubble gum than you can think. It looks like she made these herself. The bow is so nice and neat and fanned. I have to like watch a tutorial on how to do that. But this is gorgeous and it's like black. It's got the nice print of both of them on the front and then of course we've got the yellow bow. So I'm gonna actually just put this on and wear it for the remainder of the video. Now I have my own official 90s ears. I have no idea what to put on for my head um, for this video. I was like, I don't have any 90s that much, but now I do. Now I do, thank you. Okay, I had to pause filming for a second because somebody knocked on my door and I had my ears on and I was like, hi. <laughs> anyway, so they match the box. The next thing I'm seeing is not wrapped. Ooh, these are awesome. Okay, so you can see I have Buffy the Vampire Slayer behind me. I was a big Buffy fan and these are Buffy buttons. Where did you get these, Susan? I couldn't find any Buffy merchandise. I looked so hard for Buffy and Roswell um, and Gilmore Girls, things like that. And I had seen them definitely in months past or years past. And it seemed like everything is just like not in stock right now. And I even went to the Funko store and I looked and I was like, well, they should definitely have like a Buffy or Spike or Angel Funko Pop, right? Because that's like super popular. And they were like, oh, that's old. We don't really have that. And I was like, okay. So that kind of sucked. Um, so the next thing that she sent me is a four pack of Buffy buttons. And this says Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You've got the entire gang with Giles and Xander and Willow. I love it. And Buffy herself. You've got Buffy and Angel. Because I'm a big Buffy and Angel person. And then on the very bottom it says, I'm the Slayer. So I'm going to have to make room for this on one of my button bags because I, I'm i really a big fan of this. This is awesome. So thank you for that inclusion as well. All right. The next thing I'm seeing is another... Thing wrapped in purple paper. Okay, so she sent me a DVD, which I don't even know where you got this from, first of all, but I've actually never seen this movie. I don't know this movie. I know this came up in our conversation. We were talking about, um, we had a, a chat on Instagram that was going that people would occasionally say, oh, remember this from the 90s, remember that? And this came up at one point and I was like, I don't know what Benny June is. And it's some movie with Johnny Depp and Mary Stewart Masterson and Aiden Quinn. I have never seen this movie in my life. It looks like it also has um, the redhead. What's her name? Julianne something. Julianne Moore is her the actress's name. So I have never seen this. This is cool. This came out in the 90s, I'm sure, as well. Uh, 1993 it says and yeah never saw this one sorry my son keeps moving the camera because he's laying at my feet watching something and his feet keep touching this so I'm adjusting but yeah so this is something that I will have to go ahead and check out never seen it don't know the movie but it stars Johnny Depp so I probably will like it because I like him um, I was a real big fan of like crybaby from the 90s or was it the 80s I think it was the 90s crybaby and then obviously ever since her hand so I will take the Benny June as well Okay, the next thing that I'm seeing is a, what looks like a Funko Pop. I can see it through the paper. Uh, and it's a Care Bears one. Oh. oh, and it's perfect for March. It's a good luck bear, which is awesome because I have a lot of the purple one. Um, I don't have good luck bear who's green and has the shamrock as his like little uh, Care Bear center. And that's awesome. So you can see that they have Cheer Bear, they have Tender Heart Bear, Grumpy Bear, Funshine Bear, and Love A Lot Bear as part of this collection. And I'm really big into Care Bear, so thank you. And no, this wasn't a like 90s thing. I think this actually was the 80s. But we were talking about it a lot in our chat group as well. And it continued in the 90s, I believe. And if not, I was still a big Care Bears person in the 90s. So I am totally cool with this. Thank you so much for including this in my box. Okay right there. All right, the next thing I'm seeing, gosh, there's so much in this box, is another item. This could be pins or another board buttons. Oh, I think I know what this is. I think I just, <laughs> I just got a sneak peek and I don't have this either. So this is a very 90s-esque Oh My Disney set from the Disney store. I have seen this before. I didn't get it. So that's cool. I'm actually really into Max. So I will include him in my pin board. I do have like two other, uh, uh, a goofy movie pins and that's it so that's kind of awesome then you've got uh Kronk from Emperor's New Groove as the angel and the devil in both forms you've got baby Hercules with the baby Pegasus and then over here you've got a Lion King button so very very neat and yay for 90s merch love it the only thing that I got from the Disney store that I was originally going to send to my person and then I thought about it more when I realized 
um, looking at her preference sheet that she didn't have the smoothie on her preferences. I just kept it for myself and this is actually a new newer item that was released a month ago or two months ago at the Disney store and it says made in the 90s and then all around the back is like a sketch of the Toy Story feature characters. You've got Ham and Buzz and Woody and the aliens on the bottom and then Jesse and then of course Rex over here and then Slinky Dog. So a lot of the different characters from Toy Story and because my person wasn't a big Toy Story person, I was on the fence about sending this and then my box just got too full. So I didn't send it, but this is also made in the 90s. So I will include that in my background as well. I'm just gonna have a, a big background going on. All right, so I see a couple more items in here. I think just two more maybe, maybe three. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for the next one. This looks like a mystery box. Wow! It's a Tiny Toon Adventures Animati Animaniacs vinyl mini series. Again, no idea where you got this from, but you can see it matches my ears. There's the Animaniacs right in the front. So you've got Animaniac number one. You've got the little like Bugs character. I mean, it's been a while since I've seen this, but I know that this was Dot, right? Yeah, Dot, Pinky. The pinky and the brain, the pinky and the brain. One is a genius, the other is insane. Another like spinoff. Um, you've got Hamilton J. Pig, Calamity Coyote. All right, that's what it was. Um, and then Little Beeper. And then the last one is a mystery. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. This is actually a really neat like mystery box. Uh, I think one, no, that's a different, there was a swap that I was doing that you had to do a mystery item, but this one again did not have that criteria. So it has this big box. It does say Kid Robot on the on this front. It kind of reminds me of Bad Robot, you know, J.J. Abrams' company. Oh my gosh, I didn't even say all the characters. I'm a moron. So those were some of them. But then the other one was were Buster Bunny, Babs Bunny, Dizzy Devil, Yakko, Wacko, Slappy Squirrel, and Dr. Scratch and Sniff. So my ears are actually Yakko and Wacko. It's been a while since I've like seen this show. Um, or it's actually uh, Wacko, right? Yeah, she's got Wacko, and then she's got Dot. Wacko and Dot on here. Oh my gosh, so cool. So this is the Tasmanian Devil one, AKA Dizzy Devil, because that was Animaniacs' like, universe, and that's kind of cute as well. And his little hat has a little like top, it doesn't spin, that's a missed feature, but that's okay. And more for my background. Okay, I have one. Two more items in here. So I'm gonna do this bigger item and then end with the smaller item because it looks like it might be a pin. Ah! Okay, where's my mug? Where's my, hold on guys, hold on a second. A slightly missed opportunity when I didn't take this out orig originally. This is my Tailspin mug that I got from the Disney store outlet. It's usually from the Disney parks. Yeah, Disney parks item, it was $14. I did not get it for that price. I forget what I spent on it. But this is my Disney parks, AKA Tailspin mug. And she got me a Tailspin t-shirt. This is awesome. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Look at the whole gang. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And I didn't have anything Tailspin. Oh gosh. Okay, so this looks like it's a unisex size. So this might be too gigantic for me, but it'll become, oh yeah, that's way long. I love how they make these shirts and sometimes they're like massive. So in this case, I probably would have been a medium. Um, that's the problem with the unisex. Ah, oh, my goodness. I hope that that's like the same with my person. But the good thing about these shirts is they make great PJ tops. So I can wear this as a pajama. This is so neat though. I'm so excited about this design. I love it. Oh gosh, this is such a nice vivid print too. And again, no idea where you got any of this, Susan. I mean, these are just really, really cool items. Blast from the past. All right, one more item to go. One more item, and again, this looks like it might be a pin. So let's see. Ah, uh, wow, this is like from a small shop. It's like S&M pins, and this again is Animaniacs, so cute. And it's got Wacko, Jacko, and Dot on the front. It's Animaniacs. So that is fun, oh my gosh. So there you go. Those were all my items from this box. I mean, you can see that they are on this nice little shield. It's a very nice design um, in red. And I will have to like figure out, my pin boards are so massive at this point. But I do have a bunch of random pins. I might just do like one random pin board that has like different things that don't really fit in my other collections. 
and this will go on that one I have like SeaWorld pins and like Harry Potter I don't have that much Harry Potter so that will definitely go on that and then I have like a handful of Lady and the Tramp, a handful of Dumbo, etc, etc. So this can go on that. That's so neat. Thank you again, Susan, for including me in the swap and for doing this. And it's a nice blast from the past. I really enjoyed the 90s. Um, I really enjoyed rocking my side ponytail for this. And I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video as well. Let me know what your favorite item was. Um, gosh, it's really hard. I really liked everything. I like that you took the time to make me ears, or if you didn't make them, to go buy me these special ears, because that's awesome. And this little mystery figure is actually really cute, but I don't know. I think I'm excited about the Lisa Frank and the bubble tape. It's like the small things that make the 90s for you. I know when I was putting together my package, it was like the smaller little candy things that I put into that package that also made me feel like we're tying this all together. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, maybe I might save the Care Bear. The Care Bear Funk was pretty awesome. <laughs> even though it's not 90s. I know it's like, like not like originally from the 90s, but whatever. Actually, maybe even the Buffy buttons, those are actually pretty awesome. And that Tailspin t-shirt, those are my favorites, I think. But I love the entire box. So thank you again for all the items, Susan. Again, everyone, go check out the other participating channels. Um, the one that I sent my box to was Urban Leah LM. So she was a newer channel to me as well. So I just found out about her through the swap, which is awesome. And there's a lot of participating um, people that are in the swap as well that I hadn't had a chance to do swaps with before. So that's also a nice feature of branching out and joining other groups as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy watching the box that I sent to her as well, to Leah at her channel. And then I will again will include everyone's channels below. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. If you like this content, maybe you might like my additional content, see me unbox some other things in the future. And thanks so much for hanging out with me, going back to the 90s with me, and I will talk to you soon. Totally rad, dude. This is totally rad. As it falls, as my background falls. <laughs> A new boy in the neighborhood lives downstairs and it's understood. He's there just to take good care of me, like he's one of the family. Charles in charge of our days and our rides. Do do do. Gummy bears bouncing here and there and everywhere. High adventure that's beyond compare. They are the gummy bears. Do do. They are the gummy bears. Animaniac. Oh no. Do 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 do. But do 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 is animani totally insane is animaniacs those are the facts let's go 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 gadget dashing and daring courageous and caring along with the secret of gummy berry juice dark wing duck let's get dangerous dark wing duck the pinky and the brain the pinky and the brain one is a genius, the other is insane. Oh 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 Spit it! Oh 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 do 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 Adventures in Wonderland. La 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 la. Ducktails. Ooh. La 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 la. Ducktails. Ooh. That's my blast from the past.